Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part three of the same topic. So in that we will see innings 9.2. Here it says that Reva's earnings is 40% of Kavya's and Kavya's earnings is 25% of Anubha's earning. So if Anubha's earning is rupees 1 lakh, then find Reva's and Kavya's earning. So first thing what we have to see here, because Reva's earning is 40% of Kavya. So let us start with this one for Kavya's earning. So we'll consider the Kavya's earning as X. So what is X? Kavya's earning is 25% ease means you will write is equal to. We'll see this sentence. Kavya's rate earning that we have considered as X. X is 25% of Anubha's earning. So Anubha's earning is given that is 1 lakh. So we can write here X is 25% of Anubha's earning. So that will be whenever there is a percentage sign means we divide it by 100. Off means multiplication and this will be into because Anubha's earning is 1 lakh. So now when you simplify this one, these two zeros get cut. So 25 into 1000 that is going to be 25,000. So now let us see. Reva's earning is 40% of Kavya's. So Reva's earning is 45% of your business. It is going to be 40% of we got the Kavya's earning that we got as 25. So 25,000. So again in place of this percentage we will write here divided by 100 into 25,000. So when you multiply this and this we get 10,000. So Reva's earning is 10,000. So now what did they say? Then find Reva's and Kavya's earning. So we already got here Reva's was 10,000 and Kavya's was here we got as 25,000. So this is the answer. An incentive amount of rupees 58,000 was divided among three salesperson. That is Lovlin, Ankita and Arun. So Lovlin got 80% of what Ankita got and Ankita got 25% of what Arun got. So find the amount each salesperson got. So also find what percentage of the incentive amount did Ankita receive. So now let us see here that X be the amount what that is the Arun received here. Because here because the incentive amount is given and this is divided among three person here. And Lovlin got 80% of what Ankita got and Ankita got 25% of what Arun got. So we don't know what is the Arun's this one. So let us consider this one. Let X be the amount Arun to receive. So Ankita received 25% of Arun's amount. So here see Ankita got, say Ankita and Arun and Lovlin got 85 and this Ankita got and Ankita got 25% of what Arun got. So we'll start from here. Ankita received 25% of Arun's amount. So Arun's amount was considered as X. So 25 divided by 100 into X. So that will be, because there are two zeros, so you will go backwards here. So that is going to be 0 0.25 X. And Lovling received 80% of what Ankita got. That is given in the equation here. Lovling got 25% of what Ankita got. So now we saw for this Ankita, so 80% of 0.25x. So 80 means this will be divided by 100 into 0.25x. So this will be this and this will get that 2 4s are and 2 5s are. So now this will go with 5 1s are and this will be 0 0.05. 0 0.05 into 5 that is going to be 0 0.25. So now what we can see this and this we are going to multiply so 0 0.05 into 4 so that will be 0 0.20 and this is x so 0 0.20 x so total incentive is given as 58,000 so now we got this is x Arun whatever he got that is x Ankita's is 0 0.25 x and this Lovelins is 0 0.20 x so this together is 58,000. So now see here how to add it. This is x from this actually is 1. So 1 plus that 1 means 1.00 plus 0 0.25 and 0 
so this is the important step it should be one you have to add one to it so now this will be 1.45x is 58,000 so x is going to be 58,000 this is multiplication so this is going to get divided 1.45 so actually I have done this simple because this is we are not using the calc over here so 1.45 whenever there is a decimal there are bound to be mistakes so now see here this 58,000 in the numerator as it is but 145 can be written 1.45 can be written as you'll write 145 and there are we will go from right to left so after two numbers is a decimal means you are going to put here one, two zeros after one there will be two zeros if there is after three means you are going to put three zeros so this is for this part 1.45 so now the numerator will be as it is and this will get flip over so that will be 100 by 145 so now when you multiply this one so 50 this will be 58,000 divided by 145 so 58,000 divided by 145 so here 58 here uh, 145 fours are that is going to be 580 and then two zeros remain so this will be two so that will be this will be 400 and this 100 so that is going to be 40,000 so the value of x this one be that is what is x x is the what around received is 40,000 so now our own amount is 40,000 so now we need the Ankita's amount that is what we have seen here Ankita this is 0.25x so 0.25x will in place of this x we are going to put 40,000 because x is 40 so when you multiply this into this we get 10,000 and Lovelin's amount is what is it that is 0.20x so 0.20x means in place of this we'll put 40,000 so when you multiply this and this it is going to be 8,000 so now what they have said find the amount each salesperson got we we got it also find what percentage of the incentive amount did ankita receive the percentage we have to find what ankita received so percentage of total amount ankita received will be ankita's amount divided by the total incentive because percentage means you are going to multiply by 100 so what is the ankita's amount so ankita's amount this is 10000 and what is the total incentive that is the total incentive is 58000 so divided by 58000 into 100 so we can cut these two zeros then one this two zeros and when you divide this one 1000 divided by 58 that you get 17.24 percentage this is approximate anuj's weight increase from 40 kg to 48 kg in a month uh, find the increase percentage so now this is actually a very easy problem you should know what is the formula percentage increase means amount of increase this you have to learn divided by original quantity into 100 so how much is it increasing from 40 means it is becoming 48 so you have to find the difference between that so this will be 48 minus 40 divided by original was from 40 this is the original one so divided by 40 into 100 so this is going to be 8 divided by 40 into 100 so 8 ones are 8 fives are 5 ones are 5 twenties are so that is 20 percent so we can write a that for the percentage increase in Anud's weight is 20 percent Hina has 50 percent more sweets than Harish by what percentage is Harish number of sweets less than that of Hina's so now we can consider this Harish number of sweets be x Hina's number of sweets will be 50 percent more than Harish means what we can say Hina's sweets that will be this is x and again 15 percent more means plus 15 per 15 percent x so this is the important step so x is as it is this one 15 percent means 15 divided by 100 x so now again what we can see here that this will be 15 divided by 100 means it is going to be 15 divided by 100 so we will write 15 and two zeros means you will come backwards and put a decimal that will be 0.15x so this will be 1 1 plus 0.15 so that will be 1.15x so Hina's weight is that is 1.15x
So now it is they said that what percentage the Hari's number sits less than. Less than means it is decreased, percentage decrease. So percentage decrease amount formula is amount of decrease divided by original quantity into 100. So from what is happening here? How it is decreasing from 1.15 minus this, the original X means that is going to be 1 and the original quantity that is 1.15 into 100. So this is the important step. So when you sub subtract this 1.15 minus 1, that is going to be 0 0.15 divided by 1.15 into 100. So now this, again, this is a decimal. There are two ways of doing it. You can see here, both the places there is a, after two numbers is a decimal point. So you can directly write 15 divided by 115 into 100. Or if you get confused with this step, you can do one thing. Uh, 0 0.15 can be written as 15 divided by 100 because after two numbers is a this one. So this is what I have written here. And same for 1.15, 1, 1. that is going to be 1.15 will be 115. What were the, just forget the decimal, write the same number. And then you have to divide it by 100. So because after two is a decimal point. So this two zeros. So this is what I have written for this one. So now what will be, this is the numerator and this is the denominator. Numerator remains as it is. This will get flip over. So that will be 100 by 115. And this will be multiplied by 100. So this and this goes off. Now here will be 5 threes are, and this will be 5 20 threes are. So now what remains here is 100 into 3. That will be 300 divided by 23. And when you divide it, you can divide and see. You get the answer as 13.04 percentage. So we can say Hari's number of sweets is 13.04 percentage less than Hina's. Now here, Aftaf receives a convinced allowance of rupees 800 per week from his company. It was reduced by 15%. Find his new allowance. So the reduction is what? 15% of what? That is conveyance allowance. So 15% of conveyance allowance is given as that is 800. So 15, this is the percentage sign. So you have to divide it by 100 of means multiplication. And this is 800. So 100 ones and this is 100 eights. Are. So 15 eights are 120. So reduction is 120. So now you have to find this new, new allowance. So new allowance will be from 800. You are going to subtract. This is the reduction minus 120. So that is 680. So we can say of Taft's new allowance is rupees 800. Oh, so 680, sorry. The weekly savings of a businessman has increased from 45,000 to 60,000. So you have to find the increased percentage. So again, as we have done the previous one, that is the percentage increase formula. That is, what is that? Amount of increase divided by original quantity into 100. So what is that? 60, from 45, it is going to 60,000. So 60 minus 45. 60,000 minus 45,000. And what is the original one is? It is starting from 45,000. This is the original one into 100. So when you subtract this one, that is going to be 15,000 divided by 45,000 into 100. So three zeros get cut. 15 ones are 15, threes are 45. So now here is 100 is left, 100 divided by 3. So that is when you divide it, you get 33 point, 33 percentage. Or you can also write here 100 divided by 3. So that is going to be 3, 3 is a 9, 1, 0, 3, 3 is a 9. And remains is 1. So it is going to be 33 integers, 1 by 3. It can be also written this way. So that will be 33, 1 by 3 percentage. Both ways you can write it. So we can write a percentage increase in the savings is 33.33 percentage. Now here they said there are 845 students in a parade. On a Sunday, only 169 were present due to a strike. Find the percentage decrease in the students attending the parade on Sunday. So number of students who did not attend the parade, what, how much was it? There were total 845 from that 169 only were present. So those who were, did not attend the parade will be, you have to subtract this one. So that was 676. So we have to find the percent decrease in the students attending. So percentage decrease means amount of decrease 
divided by original quantity into 100. So this is a formula. So now we are already done here. So we need not do it again. So that is already we got 676 because number of students that is the decrease percentage. So number here, how many decrease? So that is 676 and the original was 845. So 845 into 100. So here what is the actually here directly we can do it but we have 100. So what we can do here, six because this doesn't go with five, but then this goes with five, but then uh, again, we can do one thing uh, to avoid this mistake here. We can do here 67,600. So divided by 845. So when you divide it, so you get here, this goes directly with eight. That will be 6760. So you can check later and one zero remains. So here will be zero. So that will be 80%. So this will be more better instead of simplifying these two numbers. So it is 80%. So we can write the percentage decrease in attendance is 80%. So, so here we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.